Garlic, does it prevent cancer and lower cholesterol? Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, garlic contains many medicinal ingredients, and most of them are sort of a mixture of, other, of sulfur containing compounds, many of which are derived from a parent compound called allicin. Now, the, there's been a number of benefits shown with garlic. Uh, cancer prevention is one of them. It's able to modulate or modify the phase one and phase two detoxification enzymes in the liver and in other cells. So what do those enzymes do when there's cancer-causing agents in the body, and pesticides and herbicides? The phase one detoxification enzymes sort of go to work and, and interact with them, and then it hands it over to the phase two detoxification enzymes, which sort of attach uh, a conjugating agent to it, which actually neutralizes it so it can no longer be active and converts it into a water-soluble form so it can be excreted from the body easily. So phase one and phase two detoxification enzymes, especially in your liver, work sort of hand in glove to get cancer-causing agents out of the body. These medicinal gradients in garlic have been shown to increase the activity of these enzymes to help protect us. These mixtures of sulfur-containing compounds also raise liver cellular concentrations of glutathione. Now, glutathione is one of the most important cellular antioxidants to protect us from free radicals. And also, glutathione is a conjugating agent in phase two detoxification. So higher glutathione levels have a link to reduction of risk of cancer as well. And some of these compounds in garlic have, have been able to, in experimental studies, show that even if you introduce a cancer-causing agent to an animal, in the presence of these uh, sulfur compounds from garlic, that the cancer doesn't even start in the first place. So somehow it's able to inhibit cancer initiation for certain chemicals. So it's, it's all very impressive. Now, with, in terms of cardiovascular disease, we see that some of the effects of garlic's medicinal ingredients can lower blood pressure, but not really that much, to a really modest degree, actually. And it can make the cholesterol in your bloodstream less prone to free radicals, and that may make that cholesterol less prone to clogging up your arteries. So it may have a modest effect on preventing atherosclerosis. But these compounds in garlic are blood thinners. Uh, and so they, they, make, they stop the blood from being excessively sticky. Well, that can be a good thing, because if you form a lot of clots, then that can lead to sudden death from a heart attack, from a stroke, and an embolism. But if your blood's too thin, you can also bleed to death. So this is where it gets a bit scary. Now, the other part of garlic that really scares me is that it, these medicinal ingredients have corrosive effects on the intestinal tract. So if you take garlic as supplements, it can cause a, a corrosive effect on the GI lining, the intestinal tract lining, and increase the likelihood you may have internal bleeding, especially if you combine it with aspirin or ibuprofen, indomethacin, voltaren, any of these non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or an anticoagulant like warfarin, coumadin, plavix, one of the new generations of anticoagulants. So we will come back and discuss that in a second. The other thing about these sulfur-containing compounds in garlic is that they also can kill some viruses and bacteria. They kill pathogens, so it may reduce our risk of infection. I personally don't like the idea of people taking garlic supplements, I'll be honest with you. I've seen there are reported cases in the literature of people having internal bleeding from using garlic supplements. Garlic on food is a condiment, outstanding idea. Garlic is a supplement because there have been reports of internal bleeding with its use, especially if combined with a, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or, or an anticoagulant drug, and a lot of people are on those drugs, I, I think you're, you're, you might be asking for more trouble. So the truth is there's other natural things that can lower your cholesterol more effectively than garlic. And there are many other compounds you can take as supplements that reduce risk of cancer. So you don't need garlic supplements in my view, but as a food condiment, outstanding. Now, to really understand the details, click on the link below, read my short review article on this, on this subject. It'll show you how to safely and effectively use garlic. All the scientific references are there to sort of support what I'm saying to you, so you can really uh, decide for yourself you know, how you want to proceed with this. Now, at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and teaching materials have all the scientific references, so you'll see you're getting only evidence-based evidence information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource 
of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.